In a number of theories of linguistics, thematic relations is a term used to express the role that a noun phrase plays with respect to the action or state described by a sentence's verb. For example, in the sentence Susan ate an apple, Susan is the doer of the eating, so she is an agent. The apple is the item that is eaten, so it is a patient. While most modern linguistic theories make reference to such relations in one form or another, the general term, as well as the terms for specific relations, varies. Participant role, semantic role, and deep case have been used analogously to thematic relation. Major thematic relations, here is a list of the major thematic relations. Agent, deliberately performs the action. Experiencer, the entity that receives sensory or emotional input. Stimulus, entity that prompts sensory or emotional feeling, not deliberately. Theme, undergoes the action but does not change its state. Patient, undergoes the action and changes its state. Instrument, used to carry out the action. Force or natural cause, mindlessly performs the action. Location, where the action occurs. Direction or goal, where the action is directed towards. Recipient, a special kind of goal associated with verbs expressing a change in ownership, possession. Source or origin, where the action originated. Time, the time at which the action occurs. Beneficiary, the entity for whose benefit the action occurs. Manner, the way in which an action is carried out. Purpose, the reason for which an action is performed. Cause, what caused the action to occur in the first place. Not for what, rather because of what. There are no clear boundaries between these relations. For example, in The Hammer Broke the Window, some linguists treat hammer as an agent, some others as instrument, while some others treat it as a special role different from these. Relationship of case to thematic relations, in many languages, such as Finnish and Hungarian and Turkish, thematic relations may be reflected in the case marking on the noun. For instance, Hungarian has an instrumental case ending, which explicitly marks the instrument of a sentence. Languages like English often mark such thematic relations with prepositions. Conflicting terminologies, the term thematic relation is frequently confused with theta role. Many linguists use the terms interchangeably. This is because theta roles are typically named by the most prominent thematic relation that they are associated with. To make matters more confusing, depending upon which theoretical approach one assumes, the grammatical relations of subject and object, etc., are often closely tied to the semantic relations. For example, in the typological tradition agents actors are tied closely to the notion of subject. Here is a way to distinguish these ideas, when they are used distinctly. Thematic relations are purely semantic descriptions of the way in which the entities described by the noun phrase are functioning with respect to the meaning of the action described by the verb. A noun may bear more than one thematic relation. Almost every noun phrase bears at least one thematic relation. Thematic relations on a noun are identical in sentences that are paraphrases of one another. Theta roles are syntactic structures reflecting positions in the argument structure of the verb they are associated with. A noun may only bear one theta role. Only arguments bear theta roles. Adjuncts do not bear theta roles. Grammatical relations express the surface position or case that a noun phrase bears in the sentence. Thematic relations concern the nature of the relationship between the meaning of the verb and the meaning of the noun. Theta roles are about the number of arguments that a verb requires. Theta roles are a syntactic relation that refers to the semantic thematic relations. For example, take the sentence Reggie gave the kibble to Fergus on Friday. Thematic relations, Reggie is doing the action so is the agent, but he is also the source of the kibble. The kibble is the entity acted upon so it is the patient. Fergus is the direction goal or recipient of the giving. Friday represents the time of the action. Theta roles, the verb give requires three arguments. In generative grammar, this is encoded in terms of the number and type of theta roles the verb takes. The theta role is named by the most prominent thematic relation associated with it. So the three required arguments bear the theta roles named the agent the patient, and goal recipient. 
on Friday does not receive a theta roll from the verb, because it is an adjunct. Note that Reggie bears two thematic relations, but only one theta roll. Grammatical relations, the subject of this sentence is Reggie, the object is the kibble, the indirect object is to Fergus, and on Friday is an oblique. See also, morphosyntactic alignment, case grammar, theta rolls, semantic role labeling, a natural language processing task to automatically determine thematic roles, lexical function. References, Carney, Andrew. 2006. Syntax, a generative introduction. Second edition. Blackwell Publishers. Doughty, David. Word Meaning and Montague Grammar. The Semantics of Verbs and Times in Generative Semantics and in Montague's PTQ. Dordgt, D. Reidel. ISBN 978-90-277-1009-3. Fillmore, Charles 1968. The Case for Case. In Universals in Linguistic Theory, eds. M. and Bark and R. T. Harms. New York, Holt, Reinhardt and Winston. Fillmore, Charles 1971. Types of Lexical Information. In Semantics. An Interdisciplinary Reader in Philosophy, Linguistics and Psychology, eds. D. Steinberg and L. Jakubowicz, Cambridge University Press. Forley, W. Linguistic Semantics. Hillsdale, New Jersey, Lawrence L. Baum Associates. ISBN 0805810749. Gruber, Jeffrey 1965. Studies in Lexical Relations, MIT, Ph.D. Harley, Heidi. In Press. Thematic Roles. In Patrick Hogan, ed. The Cambridge Encyclopedia of Linguistics. Cambridge University Press. Jack Endorf, Ray 1983. Semantics and Cognition. Cambridge, Massachusetts MIT Press. Jack Endorf, Ray 1990. Semantic Structures. Cambridge, Massachusetts MIT Press.